Hey, did you see who's on the the Epstein list? So the, there's some documents that came out. It's not the full list. Some stuff's fake, and then you got to find the real oh, one. They, there was a Jimmy Kimmel thing that I thought was real. I it, did too. Me too. I tweeted it out. People are like you fell for it. Like I sure did. I didn't retweet in case, but so here's a guy. Here's, here's some guy from the Hill. He has a. He's a. That's a. That's a nice strong collar he's got. But here, here's some guy from the Hill, and here's what he says about Clinton. Damning docs unsealed. Bill Clinton, Michael Jackson, billionaire Glenn Dubin, and Donald Trump landing on the list. Clinton was referenced over 50 times and even accused of telling Epstein himself that he likes them young, according to one of the pedophile's victims. Boy, that Bill Clinton, that is shocking. It is shocking because, you know, the other women that he assaulted, I believe, were in their 30s. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's opportunity. I was there working with Tim Ballard trying to rescue those poor girls. <laughs> I thought it was fun. <laughs> John Bush used to do Clinton. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so Bill Clinton. Um, you know, being mentioned 50 times, it's kind of deceptive. I mean, obviously, Bill Clinton was there a lot. He said he was there. I can't remember how many times on the plane. It was a lot fewer <laughs> than the times he was there. But. It could be if you were just mentioned. So if the if the lawyer said, "Did you ever see so and so there?" That's a mention of you in it. Oh, okay. So it, you, like, but he th th this is an accusation from like a girl said. But she goes, Jeffrey said. So Jeffrey said Bill Clinton likes him young. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure Bill Clinton likes him all kinds, but that's like third, fourth hand. The way he said that, Trump sounded, Trump also said that about Jeffrey Epstein one time. A, a direct quote I saw a video of him yeah, saying young, he, goes, he likes age. them young. What, what, is, you know? what does First of mean? all, who doesn't? Everybody likes them young. Well, is it young or is it young? Like what face <laughs> do you make? Is it you know? So is it is it uh, Leonardo DiCaprio young? Or well, those are beards. That's a little different. You, there's a little more leeway. With you think beards. that's what that is? <laughs> yeah, of course. You don't date that many models, and none of them complained about some inappropriate man behavior unless you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance in hell. Oh, he can't commit to a woman. Oh, they probably get money, go on dates with him, and they're very happy with the experience. And he's a nice guy. He was on Growing Pains, and that creep Dan Schneider from Nickelodeon. You know, the one who made it look like the foot because he's into like weird foot stuff. Oh, okay. Nickelodeon's been. A notorious, like, just don't put your kids in acting. You, 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 you're trafficking your children if you put them in. Right. But he worked under those guys, DiCaprio, when he was young. And if you ever seen him young, uh, oh, I mean, how do you think they picked these these dudes with their boyish features? So, you know, or they see like some kids like got a gay tendency to them, like like predators, and they, oh, I could tell this is one. I could, you know, especially theater people, <laughs> easiest people of all, you know. So let's watch this. Damning docs unsealed. Bill Clinton, Michael Jackson, billionaire Glenn Dubin, and Donald Trump landing on the list. Clinton was referenced over 50 times and even accused of telling Epstein himself that he likes them young, according to one of the pedophile's victims. The documents don't reveal any new allegations of wrongdoing, and Clinton's spokesperson said that the former president knows nothing about the terrible crimes Jeffrey Epstein pleaded guilty to. But that Oh, really? He doesn't nothing? know any, nothing. 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 So at the wedding, is Ghislaine didn't bring anything up so at Chelsea's wedding. So apparently, uh, Bill Clinton is a worse a detective than the detectives who tried to figure out where the cocaine at the White House came from. <laughs> Did they ever figure it out? <laughs> Never figured out. It's unsolved mystery. Uh, it's like the Seth Rich murder. Nobody had, knows. I thought it had the earmarks of a Russian uh, disinformation. Me too. Coke, Coke planting. New York Post has a he nice headline: Epstein victim told Clinton likes him young. As explosive doc dump name drops 170 of infamous pedophiles visitors, including Michael Jackson. It's, it's misleading. How I'm starting yeah. to actually think Michael Jackson was not a pedophile. You are? Really? Um, yeah, because they looked like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. But Jeffrey Epstein once said former President Bill Clinton likes him young, a victim of the dead sex offender testified. She testified. So, so she didn't just say it. That's an from her. Jeffrey Epstein casually said it to you know, he likes him young, which is really vague. So, like, but I mean, of okay. course, Bill Clinton was there. It's just everybody's doing this thing of he was accused. He, he's not being accused. Well, right. well, well, you know, Kurt, you've you've probably heard and and look the 
Clintons are safe and effective. We all know that. <laughs> but, but a lot of people have wound up mysteriously dying, you know, from barbell accidents and things like that. So yeah. there could be women who don't want to come forward. I'm, we don't know that, but it's possible. Well, no, that's 100%. I'm just saying what was in the document that I read, they're making it sound better than it is. So these, yeah, so these documents were ordered, released by a Manhattan federal judge, Loretta Preska. Uh, last month and contain a gross accusation of inappropriate touching by the disgraced former royal. This is the puppet thing that he used a puppet of himself to fondle yes. someone's breasts. Imagine <laughs> that. Imagine they, could, they, I would could, think they I call that the Henson. What is the <laughs> accusation? He gave her a dirty Henson. <laughs> he gave her a dirty Henson. <laughs> he gave her the big British, bird. Uh, they had this British show where they had puppets. It was called. Uh, the real world. I can't remember what it's called. It's called something like that where it's all famous people, puppets of these grotesque puppets. I know what you're talking about. Spitting yeah. image. And he, he had a puppet of himself from the show. So he had this puppet <laughs> and he groped a woman with the Prince Andrew with, puppet. Oh my gosh. I know. It's really meta. They were filled. They were filed in a sense settled defamation lawsuit that Epstein accuser Virginia Roberts Gouffre brought against the late sicko's madman, Ghislaine Maxwell. What a great name. Another Ghislaine, I mean. It's Ghislaine. But it's Ghislaine. I know. I've said that for years now. Yeah. Ghislaine. It's like, I'm not, it's just like you're not going back and calling Twitter X. I'm not going back and calling her That's Ghislaine. That's part of her sentence that her name is Ghislaine. Ghislaine, yes. Yeah. Another Epstein victim, Johanna Schoberg, said in a 2016 deposition that the Duke of York put his hand on her breast as she sat on his lap at the financier's Manhattan townhouse in 2001. She also posted for a photo alongside Gouffre, whose breast was groped using a puppet of That's Andrew. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Wow. They put the puppet on Virginia's lap, and I sat on Andrew's lap, and they put the puppet's hand on Virginia's breast, and Andrew put his hand on my breast. And they took a photo. So it wasn't just the puppet's hand. It was also his hand. Wait, did he even work the puppet? Somebody it doesn't, else? doesn't sound like he was oh, working. Oh, see, misleading. I thought he at least did his own groping. with the, He had servants do the groping? He, yes. Wow. Andrew has denied the accusation. Of course he has. Remember that? He said he can't sweat. I can't sweat anymore. <laughs> Remember that when he said that? He's pant, he's pants like a dog. <laughs> yeah, which was revealed in the report. Solberg, who has also asked, was also asked about Epstein's comments on Clinton in the same deposition. Epstein said one time that Clinton likes them young, referring to girls. She testified. Trump's name also came up in Schoberg's testimony with Epstein once suggested a stop at one of the real estate moguls casinos in Atlantic City. That's how his name came up? Because they wanted to yeah, go to Trump's one of his was, was casino? Nonsense. That's nonsense. But are people still thinking that Trump is accused in this? I think so. He's many not. of Many of the references to Clinton, which were not expected to implicate him in any illegal activity, were believed to stem from Gouffre's early attempts to compel the ex-president to testify against Epstein and Maxwell. The former commander-in-chief who was photographed with Epstein and flew on his private jet on numerous occasions. I saw pictures of him getting a massage in an airport. Yeah. Remember that? Airplane, I thought. I thought it was on the Epstein plane. Has long denied having any nefarious connections with the convicted sex offender. Clinton's statement, here's an excerpt from his statement from 2019. President Clinton knows nothing about the terrible crimes Jeffrey Epstein pled guilty to in Florida some years ago or with those with which he has been recently charged in New York. In 2002 and 2003, President Clinton took a total of four trips on Jeffrey Epstein's airplane. No, he took more than that. Four times he took a trip. What? what? <laughs> That's the big scale to me is like he's he was clearly around there a lot. Okay. Flight logs show Bill Clinton flew on sex offenders' yeah. jets much more than previously. So when he said 20, in 2019, he said four times, the flight logs uh, be, betray that. Uh, former President Bill Clinton was much more frequent flyer on the registered sex offenders' infamous jet than previously reported, with flight logs showing the former president taking at least 26 trips. So... What I guess it, uh, and no secret service detail for at least five of them. That's my favorite. Part. What's what's your definition of a trip? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, 
we're 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 both big aficionados of ramen. We were traveling around the world to find the best ramen spots based on Anthony Bourdain's recommendations. He even ditched his Secret Service detail for at least five of those flights. Well, that's when he was. That's when. What, what occasion would he have to ditch Secret Service detail? To right. To go abroad. To go right. There is no possible There's reason. There's no reason. That isn't fucking. Uh, Crack? You, you can turn off the AC. Uh, Clinton's presence aboard Jeffrey Epstein's Boeing 727 on 11 occasions has been reported, but flight logs show the number is more than double that. And trips between 2001 and 2003 included extended junkets around the world with Epstein and fellow passengers identified on manifest by their initials or first names, including Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> The tricked-out jet earned its Nabokov. What is that? Am I pronouncing that uh, correct? Yeah, yeah. Nabokov uh, that, inspired that's the Nick, author of Lolita. Oh, nickname inspired because it was reportedly outfitted with a bed where passengers had group sex with young girls. <laughs> they call it Maha Kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Official flight logs with the Federal Aviation Administration show Clinton traveled on some of the trips with as many as 10 U.S. Secret Service agents because they liked to too. However, on a five-leg Asia trip between May 22nd and May 21st, 5th, not a single Secret Service agent is listed. The U.S. Secret Service has declined to answer multiple Freedom of Information Act requests filed by Fox News seeking information. On so here, so they went, but they were like not officially on duty. Bill that- Clinton, Bill Clinton, there it is. It was fun. It'd be a lot of fun. I told him <laughs> a lot of fun. Uh, Bill Clinton pressured Vanity. Oh, did you hear this? Yeah. Bill Clinton pressured Vanity Fair not to write about Epstein's new in new documents. He called him his good friend. But former Vanity Fair editor Graydon Carter insists this categorically did not happen. Okay, when you say categorically like that, why, I when, assume it happens. Why, why does when people whenever someone says categorically, I, I, that I, means oh, you're yeah. lying? I'm pretty I, I've sure. Never, like, I've never had to deny yeah. something categorically. What does that? We assume it's categorically. What does that mean? Cat? I don't even know what that means. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Uh, absolutely, there is absolutely no way that there could be any other interpretation of the facts. Well, that is the most suspicious way to say, no, he didn't. <laughs> like- <laughs> so a victim of Jeffrey Epstein once claimed that former President Bill Clinton tried to dissuade Vanity Fair from writing sex trafficking articles about the perverted financier, according to an email contained in a cache or cache of newly released court documents. The Clinton claim is found in a series of emails between Virginia Goffrey and Daily Mail scribes Sharon Churcher, who was helping Goffrey land a book deal, speak to the feds, and contact a lawyer for survivors of Epstein's sex ring. But former Vanity Fair editor Graydon Carter told British newspaper The Telegraph this categorically did not happen. Vicki Ward, the Vanity Fair journalist behind the 2003 profile, wrote on her Substack, if that happened, I did not know about Graydon it. Graydon Carter was working on Clinton's bio with him, was he not? So when the Netflix one yes. came out, and, and he was a producer on it, I think, that Netflix documentary is already flawed because he's in bed with Clinton to make this book. So, And I remember all, all they said about Clinton, the one girl goes, no, I saw him there. I mean, I didn't see him do any crimes. I just saw him there. I wish he would just tell the truth because I don't see why it's a big deal. That's all there was about Clinton in that documentary. Right. So Clinton, oh, you know how he is. He doesn't want to say he was there, but it wasn't criminal. Well, well to me, that that's the smoking gun. Yeah. If you If this was so innocent... Why are you lying about how many times you went on the plane? Right. If, if and, and why lie, is the, the why line. is the media never mentioning that? Because when you look at the coverage on this, it's completely uncritical of Clinton's claim that he only flew on that plane four times. They never mention, oh, yeah. but flight logs show that he. They never. If it were Donald Trump, they would never mention that claim without without, sh- room, without mentioning yeah. the evidence. Oh. Why are there certain people who think there's a conspiracy to suppress discussion of these matters? I wonder why. <laughs> Look, Hillary did her best. At, what was she supposed? There's a room full of uh, female writers that loved Hillary in New York, and and built, talking. This is in the as uh, it's getting real feminist out. The temperature. They go, <laughs> they go. Uh, Bill Clinton, all the rapes he's accused of, which should be enough to just the accusations. Someone should be calling Rumble to see if they're going to drop. 
showing him. So they go, well, why is it her fault? Every one of them are like, well, why is it on Hillary Clinton? I'm like, really? Why is it? Well, I don't know. She act- actively helped cover up. She's basically his Ghislaine, I guess. We didn't know who they were at the time, Ghislaine and Jeffrey. Right. But so the mind's already like, this could harm Hillary. Yeah, we know he's bad, but we still like Hillary because awful women like us, she represents, a, you know, gutsy gals, <laughs> like sociopaths. So here it is. When I was doing some research into Vanity Fair yesterday, Guffrey wrote, it does concern me what they could want to write about me, considering that Bill Clinton walked into Vanity Fair and threatened them not to write sex trafficking articles about his good friend, Jeffrey Epstein. I'm not going to do that book with you. (laughs) You want to write my bio? (laughs) Okay, so... Uh, you want this to go hard? You want it to be fun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just do a John Bush's impression. I want to make that clear. <laughs> Come see us do a live stand-up show. We'll be in Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Boston, Massachusetts, and we're going to Europe. Do you live in Europe? We're going to be there. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.